how's it going? My name is Lauren and I work in the hospitality and tourism industry in Alaska. I absolutely love what I do. I love being able to share Alaska with everybody and with everyone who wants to learn more. It's been my passion for years and years and years, but with COVID-19, we just don't really know what's gonna happen. So let's back up a little bit and I'll tell you where my story really begins. So my story really begins when I was a teenager. I grew up in a small town in Alaska called Fairbanks, Alaska. It's right in the dead center. In Fairbanks, there's not many summer job opportunities available for teenagers, except for in the tourism industry. That's where my story begins. That was when I was first introduced into it. I was 16 years old. And that's when my love really began for tourism. I love being able to share Alaska. I love being able to get to talk to people and get to know them and really understand where they're coming from. I think that's the best way to uh, learn about other cultures is just talking. And so I grew up here in Alaska. I do share what I know and I'm very proud of my culture. And when I was 16, I actually started out one of the local vendors. It was a really great company. I loved it. I was able to talk to guests every single day on the phone. So fast forward a couple years, I had just graduated high school and I was still working at a coffee shop, although a different one. So I actually got a second job and my second job this time was at a local restaurant. And this restaurant is actually a seasonal restaurant that a lot of tourists will go to and I loved it. It was such a great work environment. I loved my boss. I loved the environment that we were working in. It was so fast paced. It was a lot of fun and it was such an incredible experience. It's still to this day one of my all time favorite jobs. I had the coffee shop in the morning and then I would go to the restaurant in the evening. I was actually starting to get to know more about the tourism industry in Fairbanks. I was actually able to start learning about one of this, the largest tour operator and we were a vendor for them. And so this tour operator brought some guests into the restaurant that I was working at. And so I had started working for the restaurant full time as their front of house manager and then I started working for the vendor during the days because the restaurant is only open at night, I wanted something during the day to keep me busy. So what had happened is I had started working for the vendor or the tour operator in the mornings. I would quickly get off of work from there and then 30 minutes later I had to work at the restaurant. So I had done that for one summer and then the next summer I had decided, yeah, I'm gonna do that again. So. We had gotten our season set up and then from there again I went back into the old routine of working at the tour operator in the morning and then going into the restaurant at night. I was very happy to be there. I was loving what I was doing at both jobs. At the end of the year I was actually nominated for team member of the year at the tour operator for them. My boss, who actually was very adamant that I was going to the end of season party and that I was included, she really wanted me there. And I was just thinking she was being a great boss and wanted me involved. Both of my jobs were having their end of season parties at the same time. And it's a good thing I went because I was actually awarded team member of the year. And that alone was astonishing and it was really nice because i was way more behind the scenes at the operator because i was doing phone reservations but i definitely felt like i was included in a lot of the employee activities which was really great so once i had received the award from the operator i actually went to the second end of season party and i had told them and it was such a huge accomplishment everyone there was so excited um, the restaurant is really just a family. So I was really happy to share that with them as well. Um, so we had all had a lot of fun. And then at the end of the season, I kind of looked around Fairbanks and I was like, man, I have no idea what I'm gonna do this winter. I don't really know. I just got off of these two incredible seasonal jobs. I had revamped my resume and I had no idea what in the heck I was going to do. So I woke up on a Wednesday morning. I kind of looked around and I went, hmm, there's not much here. <laughs> so there wasn't much holding me to Fairbanks. And so I decided to make the move down to Anchorage. And Anchorage is in the very south central of Alaska. I had moved down there to stay with my mom for a couple of weeks. I got a job at a coffee shop because 
It's what I've been doing for years. It's what I knew. My mom had invited me to go to a wedding with her and I was thinking, sure, why not? I love weddings, so they're always fun. So I went with her. It was her boss's wedding and the wedding was beautiful and we went to this um, reception and we were sitting at the same table as her boss. It was her boss, her husband, their family, and my mom and I. My mom was to the right of me and I was sitting next to her boss's husband and he was to the left of me. This gentleman, he was just there and so we started talking. I thought he was just being friendly because he's married to my mom's boss, but our conversation was actually really great. We had talked about kind of what I had just moved down to Anchorage and we started talking more. As we started talking, my mom chimed in because we started talking about work and he asked what I do for a living. And I let him know that I had just wrapped up two seasonal jobs. I was a manager at one and the other I had just finished my season. I was very excited. And my mom, hearing this, being a mom that she is, starts saying, oh yeah, she just got this really great award. She is team member of the year. And I was thinking, oh my goodness, someone please make her be quiet. I was just thinking, she's embarrassing me. And he goes, really? That's such a huge thing. That's a great accomplishment. Congratulations. I'm like, oh, well, thank you. Just thinking, you know, he's being nice. Cool. My mom's boss has a great husband. That's all I was thinking. Um, and then we started talking more and once he got to know that he was like, do you know who I am? And I said, no. And he goes, I go, I'm so sorry. I really don't. And he goes, oh, okay. My name's David. And I was like, huh? Well, it's very nice to meet you, David. <laughs> it's been great talking with you. And he goes, yeah, you know, I actually work for that operator. And I go, wow, I had no idea. It's a very large company, so it's not unusual that I didn't know who this was. We started talking more and he goes, yeah, I work for this part of the company and we have this opening. I think you should apply. I think you'd do really well. And I was thinking, oh my gosh, did this just happen? I'm at a wedding. Did this really just happen? Okay. So I was really excited. Um, I got home and I immediately wrote him a thank you card and I sent it in the mail saying thank you, I enjoyed talking with you, I'll look into this job. And it was exactly what I was looking for. It wasn't just a job, it was a career move. That's what everything that I've been working for at this point, so I was thinking I have to apply. I applied and I went through a two and a half month interview process. Two and a half months, what? That's crazy, right? You'd think that some people would just give up on it and you know, I probably would have if I didn't really love the company that I, I currently work for. Um, having those two seasons under my belt really made me enjoy and fall in love with the environment and the team and everything that the company stood for. So here we are, I got the job and I am in love with what I do. I love every single aspect of it. I love being able to connect with guests, to connect with the team members that I lead, as well as all of the team members that are not just on my team, but otherwise as well. I love the presence we have in Alaska and I love, again, everything about it. Really what it comes down to is my passion is sharing Alaska. I want to share Alaska with as many people as I can and as often as I can. So I have been doing this now as a manager for quite a few years and I love it, but now we're in a crazy time in the world. Um, there's COVID-19. Of course, we all know what COVID-19 is and we all have been affected by it. And the tour operator that I work for, we are actually really hit by it. It's a huge impact. COVID-19 has ripples that we truly do not know how far they extend yet. The company that I work for, I am really proud that integrity is ingrained into everything we do. It, it, I couldn't be more proud with the response of how they're going through COVID-19. They are making difficult and challenging and heartbreaking hard decisions every single day. They're doing everything they can to continue to stay open and transparent through it all. Personally, I have no idea what the future holds for me. I do know that we are going to be furloughed. I don't know what that's going to look like for me individually, my boss, my boss's boss, I have no idea. But what I do know is that I want to be able to experience Alaska in the way that I scream and shout from the mountaintops what Alaska means to me. And so a lot of this summer, I've decided that I want to play and explore Alaska just as anybody else would. Um, and I want to take you along with me. 
I have no idea what it's going to mean. Um, just about a month and a half ago, we learned that our 2020 season has been canceled, which is unprecedented. It was really hard to let all of our employees know, to let our vendors know, and that was extremely heartbreaking, right? I mean, it's Alaska. This is our bread and butter. Um, the number one industry in Alaska is oil and gas. Secondly, follow close by tourism. If we're one of the larger tour operators here in Alaska, what's that going to mean for all of these vendors that rely on our guests? There was never a time that I would have ever seen my company not having a season. I grew up seeing our company throughout the state. I grew up seeing everything, seeing them every summer operating. I am proud to be working for them now and I will continue to be proud working for them in the future. But with our furlough, we don't know what that's gonna look like. We don't know how long, we don't know when, we don't know when we'll be coming back to a job. I know that I will be coming back to a job sometime and that we will be having a season for 2021. We know those things, but we just don't know what it's going to look like. And that alone is really, really hard. I can't imagine not working for this company I really enjoy it, but only time will tell. We'll see what happens. But in the meantime, I plan on doing is actually doing a bucket list for the summer. I want to experience Alaska in the same way that I share Alaska with our guests. I can't wait to share all with you. I hope you like, subscribe, and comment down below with your suggestions on things that I should be doing this summer. I do have a golden doodle, her name is Willa. You'll be seeing her quite a bit in these videos because I don't really wanna go on any adventures that I can't take her on. And I will see you guys soon. Bye. Hey, how's it going? Um, so this is actually a day later from when I filmed the rest of the video. Um, I just wanted to get on here because things have changed. As we know, COVID-19 changes everything every single day. Some things are changing by the hour, some things are changing by the minute. And in March, everything that we were doing was changing hour by hour, day by day. Our protocol for us um, working in Alaska was changing. We were still under the impression that we were going to have a season. Um, we just didn't know what the season was going to look like. So now it's really just, I don't, I don't even know what to say. Um, yesterday, when I was filming the other video, I was so excited because we were just going to be furloughed, it was going to be furloughed, and that was going to be that, and, you know, like, that was going to be a struggle, and that was going to be hard, and we didn't know how long it was going to be for, um, but since it, these are unprecedented times, there have been some changes. There are quite a few team members, I can say, I don't want to say how many, um, but it's more than half that have been laid off and there are just under half that are being furloughed. And at this time, I've been laid off. <laughs> I am still speechless. I found out this morning. I understand the hardships as a business, the decision that it must have been to make that decision. I know that as a business, you look at everything and there are no, there's nothing off the table. And I know and I understand that, and it's hard, and it's incredibly heartbreaking after the years that I've put in, and that this is my passion. I've cried a lot, and <laughs> today is my day to be really sad and be really upset and feel all the feels and to just be in the moment, because this is hard. I have no idea what that means for my summer. I don't know what it means for my future. There's a lot of unknowns at this point. I will say that the company is doing a great job at taking care of us and making sure we're okay. And I work with incredible people. My boss, he has really been there for me. And when I got the news, he was asking the questions that I couldn't ask because I was still in shock. To this moment, it's five hours later and I'm still in shock. To be fair, like I'm still so speechless and I it hasn't fully registered and the reality hasn't set in yet. I, I have no idea what this is gonna bring. I have no idea what this means, but this has been the hardest year of my entire life. This has been the worst year, arguably, of my entire life. I thought the year before was really hard and that was awful and that was terrible, but this takes the cake. I have ended officially my relationship with somebody that 
I thought I was gonna spend the rest of my life with and I wish him nothing but the best. I have lost my best friend, my other half, my partner and everything. He was the best buffer in any social interactions that I could ask for. He is the best human I've ever known. At his celebration of life, I was so happy how many people showed up for him and I was so happy to hear all the good stories about him and for that I will forever be thankful to this company for introducing me to him because he has improved my life by leaps and bounds and I wish that I could talk to him today but I can't. Um, but what I can do is live my life the way that he lived his and that's what I'm going to. I'm really proud of myself and I'm really happy about that and I refuse to be the downside of my life. I refuse to let my experiences define me. Uh, they can help be a part of my story but they are not my story. I choose that. Just like this will not be the thing that defines who I am. This will not be my final setback. This will not be the worst thing that has happened to me this year. I refuse to let it. Like I said, I this has been the worst year of my entire life. I'm smiling because I don't know how to really process that. Um, but this has been the worst year of my life. But it's also going to be the greatest because right now it's not rock bottom, but it's not the best. It's not the worst. This is not the worst thing to happen to me, but I have no strengths. I have no strings to anything for the first time in my life. And I can do whatever I want. I have no idea what this year is going to bring, what this summer is going to bring. I have no idea, honestly. Like, I don't, I don't know. Um, I'm super type A. I always have a plan. I always know what's going to happen. I like to know all the details of everything. But right now I don't know. And that's scary. Like, I, I don't know what's gonna happen. It's really scary and it's also exciting. What am I gonna do? I don't know. Like. Do I want to go hiking? Do I want to go camping? Do I want to play around Alaska for a couple months? Do I want to continue serving? Do I want, what do I want to do? I don't really know, but I have no idea what's going to happen in my life and that's scary, but it's also exciting. And like I said, this is not going to be the thing that ruins me. This is not going to be the thing that defines me. And this will not be the end of my story. This is so exciting. I love Alaska. It's more time to share it with you. But holy shit, it's so scary. <laughs> I have no idea. Um, but I just wanted to get here and just let you know that yesterday I was so excited because we we're gonna be furloughed. That's not the case. I'm still excited to share and do all this. So again, if you still have any more tips, tricks, or anything you want me to do, leave it down in the comments down below and I'll keep that list going. But, but it's gonna be good. It's gonna, I'm not going to freak out about it. It's not in my hands. I am just here and I am going to experience everything and I'm gonna take it in stride and there's no point stressing over anything yet. I hope you enjoy the ride this summer with me because I, like I said, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a wild one. Who knows? It's gonna be wild, it's gonna be crazy, but enjoy it with me. I am gonna go for a hike today, so I will see you guys soon. Bye.